Hello everyone and welcome to some more Nekoparo Volume 1. A little, sorry about the little pause there, but as you can see here, I assume they're at an amusement park. So let's find out. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Maybe he's a little sick of heights. Wider than Ghostface. Really, uh, I guess it must be. I guess he's a little lightened up. Killjoy. I don't get it, but okay. No, it's not that I'm being cold, okay? We were near the peak of... Okay, so it's not an amusement park. Never mind then. There... Because I was making predictions, because I keep hearing, like, falling and shit. So, we're, we're near the peak of... Hyakejima Sea Paradise's main attraction, Blue Falling. So, they're at the... So they're sightseeing. I thought they were going to an amusement park. God damn it. I'm retarded. All around us was sky, sky, and more sky. The safety and security of Earth was far, far away. Dare to experience the nation's highest free fall at 107 meters, they say, and when they do, they're not kidding. Forced to get on the ride because of their whining. I was now facing the most extreme threat to my life er, ever. Okay, so attraction it could mean amusement park in a way. Ashley, how can you two be so calm? <laughs> Not for him. Hundred seven meters above sea level. Isn't that just because you guys like high places? I wasn't even able to say only fools and s only fools and smoke like high places. I could only quiver as I was overtaken by more fear the higher we climbed. Then that merciless sound coming from the the motor that seemed to go on forever suddenly stopped. Well, shit. Three, two, one. Bye bye. Okay, so they are an amusement park. Okay, that was, uh, wow. Good. Well, this is a. Uh, this guy is not even excited. And and these two cat girls are excited as fuck right now. But yeah, they're enjoying the amusement park, except for this guy. <laughs> Is this a carousel? Oh, no. 
の単調な上下がものすごい癖になるご主人様どうしたんですかまさかこの速度でも怖いとか No way. No, it's just it's a bit embarrassing being this old and this. <laughs> All these gibberish. <laughs> It's just a ride, calm down, it won't kill you. Hold on, there's an emergency exit over there. Hold on until then. What was that irk just now? Don't give up. Hey, vanilla! Oh boy. I'm pretty sure, yeah, a little bit of shaking there. Wait, let me rest. Really, seriously. Lightheaded, I sat on the bench feeling groggy. Do you think amusement parks could pack this much punch? I know, I get it, just give me a second. Vanilla wasn't pleased with having her cheek poked. Well, that's just what she's saying. Her tail was sticking straight up all the time at home, though. According to what Chocla says, she had to be really careful not to do that while we're out today. Otherwise, her tail would lift up the back of her skirt. Okay, so when he's here trashing to make the fancy ass name for a mountain, I thought it was sight. Because I can't even tell, it's either sightseeing or amusement park, so I always get confused when it comes to shit like that. But whatever. Back of skirt. That's not the sort of thing we humans would ever have to worry about, though. But those clothes look good on both of you. She spun around and showed me her back. The white clothes sparkled in the sunshine. It was very cute and seeing them all dressed up made the day even more special. Not that Vanilla would ever admit she felt that way. Yeah, they look good. I said it one more time. <laughs> well, 
She feels too shy. The two fluttered about as they teased each other. Seeing how happy Chocola and Vanilla were made me glad I took the day off, even if it was inconvenient. It's for the best. That's right. I've been a bit tired lately, so we've come here for a bit of fun. You guys don't need to worry about anything. Just go be cat girls and enjoy yourselves. The two of them looked into my eyes worriedly, so I messed with their hair. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, like Hakijima is like a fancy name for him. I thought it was like a mountain or something. Oh no, these aren't uh, Hakijima's cat girls. Huh. これ<笑> The hesitant mother looked over towards me. I don't mind at all. They say they want to, too. So that's how it is. Could I have you take a picture for us, too? She is very overly thrilled with the cat girls. What an unexpected scene. For me, Chocola and Vanilla were still like children, but I suppose even cat girls might have maternal instincts like human women do. It was adorable seeing them playing with the child. They're acting more big sister like than usual. Yeah, yeah, say cheese.
者隊の気持ちを考えないといい写真は撮れないと聞き及ぶ I'm taking more smile smile Their pouty faces were so cute that I kept provoking them intentionally. How wonderfully sweet this moment was. I must be in a pretty good spirits myself if I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Nipa. <laughs> It's just like when I remember、uh, when it comes to、uh, Rika Farood from Higurashi series. <laughs> There was some bullying. <laughs> What the hell? So, this does look like a date after all. I thought about that again as, as I texted the photo to Shiguri. Of course, there was no doubt that this was a date. No, if I say it like that, it sounds like. No, if I say it like that, it sounds kind of negative. Yeah, if I were to say it flat out, think about how others might view this makes me feel a bit bashful. I'm well aware that it's a bit weird for me to be thinking about how wonderful things are. Huh? Am I grinning? <laughs> Donald or Ronald? Is it the clown? Is this, what is this, the fast foods mascot? <laughs> oh boy. Lude, it's not like that at all. You two are plenty perverted yourselves, you know. With full smiles, the two of them wrapped themselves around my arms. I couldn't escape it even if I had tried. So, cat girls change as they grow up, too. I tried to hide the face I was making as I thought that. But if I stop thinking about it, it'll come back again. Then you guys didn't don't get to either. I set aside this day just for you guys after all. Yeah, 
頼もしい<笑>強気なご主人だにゃーレッツゴーゴー Even <笑> Vanilla smiled again like usual My spirits were just as high as theirs, with each one wrapped around an arm. The three of us headed deeper into the amusement park. <laughs> they're now in an aquarium. So, sounds like they're in Sea World or something. Hey, if you two don't watch where you're going, you'll trip. My warnings went completely ignored as their gleaming eyes looked around the aquarium. Shining rays of sun beamed down from directly overhead, making a, mis making a mystical sheen spread throughout the surrounding scenery. It was promoted as a walk in the sea, and that's what it really was. It really was like we were walking right through the middle of the sea. Let's see, the information sign says it's a green chromis. You don't really need to remember that. I thought smiling, I thought smiling as I watched over the two overjoyed cat girls. Yeah, it's because you two worked hard and got your bells. What good girls. The gold and silver bells jingled almost as if in response. Who knew they'd be this happy? I should have taken them here sooner. With how busy the store was, this really wasn't the best timing. But I didn't have many other choices. Tuna, their favorite food, I assume. Yeah, it's quite a view. I need to work hard for Chocolat and Vanilla's sake from now on too, though. No, rather, I want to work hard for them. I, honest, I honestly felt that. Oh, 
Oh boy. Don't blurt out cat like things like that, okay? They are still cats after all. I wiped their mouths with a tissue as I thought that. It's like, oh man. I'll bring you here again. I'll bring you here again soon. That way, you don't think of doing anything dangerous either. I gave Vanilla a light bop on her dame. <laughs> oh God! I gave I gave Vanilla a light bop on her daydreaming cheeks. You're not serious about that, right? Right? Okay, I'll wait here then. Yeah, no rush. I took their things and watched them head off. The restroom looked pretty busy just now. I wonder if they're waiting on a bench somewhere. I looked around, searching the benches. She was holding some balloons decorated with drawings of Hyakujima in her hand. She had Hyakujima's logo printed on her uniform shirt. She pointed at the stuffed animals I was holding onto for vanilla and chocolate. Oh, these aren't mine. They belong to my cat girls. Oh, there's a lot of people who assume for after all. <laughs> With an inviting smile, much suiting an amusement park staffer, she bowed her head slightly. Cat panions. Ah, they're like girlfriends. Well, I guess they are. <laughs> well, it's just kind of new for me. I cringed. She hit the nail on the head. It's cringy as hell. I felt I should be more straight up about it. But I really can't just stop being bashful about it overnight. Even have bells. That'd be nice if I could live up to that. I think it's more the fact that there are such good cat girls. <laughs> Oh, you do? Oh, boy. She gave a troubled smile as she tilted her head. Her smile showed how much she cared for her cat girl. An extra as a gift? Huh? To your cat girls? I grabbed the balloon strings as she offered them to me. 
Oh, she, she gave him some balloons, huh? She... Huh. He grabbed the balloon strings, she offered them to me. Thank you very much. I'm sure... I'm sure they'll love them. That was an interesting conversation. They really are cat panions, huh? I said it again. It felt a bit surprising this time, though. But I needed to be more open about it. That way, the next time something like this happens, I can answer proudly. This is probably one of those things Shigeru always refers to when she says that I should puff out my chest. Well, can't really change the way I am, huh? Hmm? What the hell just happened? This was a... You're just being misunderstood there. Oh my god. Both of the cat girls are misunderstood. Well, ain't that some shit. Whoa, okay, okay, you know what, that's a... Uh, that's a little bit too dangerous there. Oh god. By putting something burning? Oh god. Saw something about that not becoming a pushover cat girl on TV. What kind of TV show are you talking about? Ah, oh, you two are such a pain to deal with sometimes. Talking about crazy things from such an obvious misunderstanding and everything. See, even he's right. Even going as far as to say they were going to booby trap my underwear now. Vanilla thinks up, thinks up some really nasty stuff. While Chocola is just, she feels very bad. Anyways, I better clear up this misunderstanding first. I said to myself, exasperated. I headed over towards Chocola, who was still crying into their hands. <laughs> Meow, it's a Hyakajima balloon. Whale shark, there's a whale shark drawn on it. Huh. Uh, hey Chocola, Vanilla, the bath's ready. Hey, chocolate, vanilla. Huh. Guess they were playing all day after all. I looked at their sleeping faces while they snored away on the sofa. I haven't had much time for them up until now, huh? I knew that they were more attached to me than Shigure, but for the past few months, I've been getting ready to move. I was so focused on myself that I didn't have time to play with them. I'm really surprised that things have gone this far. When I first took them home, 
I had never imagined any of this happening. Owning my own shop one day and having these two follow after me, and then ending up in this sort of relationship with them. But thanks to them, every day is fun. I place my hand gently on their precious cheeks. I finished all the preparations for tomorrow. It's fine, just go back to sleep. I patted the heads of my two sleepy cat girls. I sat them back down on the sofa as they tried to get up. With a kind and gentle smile, they lowered their gazes as of savoring their bliss. Chocola and Vanilla laid their heads on my shoulders after touching my cheeks with their soft lips. I had a lot of fun too. Thanks. I gave each of them a kiss on the forehead. I was pressed between two sets of sultry eyes. I'm not so oblivious that I didn't know what they were getting at. Still in heat, huh? They both shook their heads silently. Huh. Sorry, I'm just messing around. Doesn't have anything to do with her being in heat. Chocolate.
This doesn't even. This game doesn't even have dialogue choices. It's a kinetic visual novel. Even though it's marked as dating simulator on as a Steam tag. Vanilla. She spoke smoothly. As she lured me in with her soft and sensual gaze. Do you really think you even need to ask at this point? I love both of you. Onto their small, thin lips. I then placed a lover's kiss. They both embraced me tightly in a satisfaction. So, hmm, there was supposed to be a scene, but you need like a patch the game later on. But I will. I only record this in SFW for the most part. So, yeah, so I'm assuming in the game they cut out the sex scene, so that's how that happened. Yeah, both Chocola and Vanilla were very cute, there, there. Mostly talking in their sleep, they purred and rubbed their cheeks against me. As as I also drifted off into slumber, I continued to pet them gently on the head. We'll take a bath together tomorrow when we woke up. <laughs> when we wake up, I'll wash your hair and bodies and clean you both up. Yeah, of course. I'll brush it too. As mumbles spilled from their lips, their voices trailed off, making it sound like they were talking in their sleep. I gently embraced both of their heads, whispering into their ears with all my heart. Let's do our best together, th the three of us. Yeah, we'll have fun, and we'll be so happy. I made that promise to my beloved companions. At some point, I melted into this blissful moment and drifted off to sleep. Hey, my arms are going numb here. There's a little car. 
little commercial break card there. Alright, so that was a pretty short chapter. So I'm just going to end this here for now. So next part, from what I assume is I'm very close to finishing up that good old slice of life of cat girls. So like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later. Have a good one.